Hey guys, it's Curie Monster. So I decided I'm gonna start vlogging. So um, I don't know. I just I figured I can do more interesting stuff than just sitting at home all the time. So uh, you know, mind my camera work and stuff. And you know, I'm gonna be really awkward because it's really weird talking to a camera, and I haven't done a video in God knows how long. So I figured if I vlog my life every day, you know, my uh, parents who just moved uh, six hours away, yeah, six hours away, they can see what I'm doing every day, you know, and I just, I don't know, I, I watch a lot of people that vlog and I, I'm always like, I really want to do that, but I never do. I figured it will be a way to like kick me in the butt in like actually doing something like more productive and than just sitting at home all day because I am a stay at home nanny. So it's like... You know, I, I want to go out and do stuff, so I figured I got some interesting things I can do and show you guys, and then I can start like going to Disney or Universal or some other places because I do live in like the Orlando area, more towards the beach. But yeah, so I figured I'd start vlogging. So uh, let me know what you guys think. So um, I started the day. I'm over by my window, so if I'm squinting, this sounds like really bad. And, ugh, this camera's so heavy. I need to get, like, an actual, like, vlog camera. So, that'll be on my to-do list. Um, yeah, so today I woke up a little late than usual, because the kids had off school, so I was able to sleep in, because I drive them to school every morning. But, uh, woke up late. Um, I do cardio every morning, because I'm really, like, trying to get my weight, like, where I want it to be, because it's been, it's been bad for a while. So, um, worked on that. And then I cleaned my room. It's still a little messy, but, you know, vacuumed. Um, I actually have five rats. I have three babies and uh, two adults. I guess they're six months old. But uh, I guess I can show you guys them. Um, let's see where they're at. So these are the two big guys. Um, these are actually my first actual pets. And I actually turn on the light so you can see them a little better. You can actually see their noses beeping out. Hi, guys. Hi. So that is Suzaku right there. So I named them after a show I actually started watching with my boyfriend before we started dating. It's called Kogias. So that is Suzaku. He's black. And that is Lelouch, or Lulu. And he is brown. And I guess that's called, like, hooded. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? This is like their favorite toy. I basically just got like a shoe box and put old uh, ski socks in them and they love it. What you guys doing, huh? What you doing? I'm surprised they're actually ignoring the camera. They're like, let me sleep, mom. Yeah, but then I uh, have a chewed up really bad hammock here, like a tube. That I need to go buy another one today or tomorrow. And I got like a little igloo. I have this little ladder that uh, I open up the bottom and I just like clink it on there so that way they can like run around during the day. Got them these little chew carrots that they actually love. And then, you yeah, know, I got them the wheel, which uh, I just got this new one. It's like the silent spinner. I'm not really a fan of it. Like it still makes noise, but oh well. And there's their food for the day. And they're, uh, I give them like fruits and veggies once a day and they kind of just munch on that during the day and then I give them uh, rat blocks or lab blocks or whatever you want to call them. These are the babies. Okay, camera died. So <laughs> this is Artemis. Uh, I named him after the cat in uh, Sailor Moon. And then behind him, I don't know if you guys can tell, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Get it focused. So he has like a blonde kind of hood or head, and that is Zero, also from Code Geass. I figured I'd get the, the three. And then I also uh, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Scared the crap out of you. I also like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so Zero from that. And then this is my gr like everybody's favorite. Let me get him out. <laughs> Hi, big baby. <laughs> and this is my Dumbo Rex. And his name is Peekaboo, or Boo. Kind of like from Monsters, Inc. I know she's a girl, but this is a boy. 
I just thought it was a cute nickname. Hey, boo. Hi. He's like, put me down. I was sleeping. I'll let you go back down. And right now, they've actually, they love cardboard boxes. It's like cats, I swear. So I, right now, this is just a temporary cage until they get a little, uh, everything's out of focus. Until they get a little bigger and they can go in the bigger cage with the other guys. But once a day I have them meet and they play for about an hour with the big guys. And their meeting went really smooth. I was really surprised. So much better than like with cats and dogs. So that's their food bowl, which they made a huge mess. They dig what they want to eat and then leave the other stuff for leftovers. So I have a hammock. Another hammock and a little igloo, which that is his favorite spot. There's the igloo. <laughs> Hi, babies. What are you doing? Are we being cute? Are you being so cute? Huh? Yeah, they're my big babies. So I've had these guys, I want to say, for two weeks now. Oh, someone's going to say hi. Hi, Lulu. Hi. He's like, you usually come either to let me out, pet me, or feed me. You are not doing either one. What is going on? I need to clean up this. Yeah, so those are my, my pets. Uh, Lelouch was actually the first rat I got, and then a week later, two weeks later, because it took me forever, I got them from uh, PetSmart. Which it was kind of an impulse buy. Like, I was looking into buying rats. But I didn't know if I really wanted one. But since I'm a uh, stay-at-home nanny, I figured, you know, I, I have a lot of time I can spend with an animal. So I decided to get two rats. Well, I got Lulu at first, and then I read up that, you know, they needed a, an, at least another companion. So I waited a little while, and I got Suzaku also at PetSmart. That seemed to be the only place I could find them. And then uh, I've had them since... I want to say September, like September, October. So they've been with me for a while. And then I got the babies like two weeks ago and I've had them. They're actually, they, they were so much smaller. I got them from breeders. So there was one in uh, about an hour north of me and then one that was like way closer to uh, Tampa. I had to go out and get them. And she's actually like a really big breeder over there. So yeah. The uh, the two white guys, Zero and Artemis, they're actually brothers. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I, Suzaku and Lulu might be brothers as well. But Peekaboo, I got him on his own. So yeah, those are my five little babies. They were so small when I first got them. I was not expecting that because Lulu and Suzaku were about, I want to say like a month old when I purchased them. So they were a lot, definitely a lot bigger. So yeah. Oh, and the story about um, Artemis and Zero is that their owner, which I guess they, they weren't really a breeder, um, their daughter had bought a two female rats they thought and one was actually a male they mated and they had babies and they were gonna give them to uh, people that had snakes as feeder rats and I saw that on Craig Craigslist because I was looking for at least two more babies to go in the bigger cage with uh, um, Suzaku and uh, Lelouch and I was like you know what I'm gonna save these two guys so I adopted them. I didn't want them getting fed to a snake. They're such good guys. They are, huh? <laughs> Little cute guys. Yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of my family members are like, oh, why do you have rats? And I'm like, you know what? When you get down to it, they're so, like, they're so lovable. They're just animals. That's basically it. They're just animals. They're not dirty. They actually, the, um, my older two are actually litter box trained. You know, sometimes they make, you know, accidents outside the litter box, but for the most part, they're clean animals. They actually bathe themselves more than cats do. Like, constant, all the time. I'll actually, I'll actually pet them, and they'll be, like, mad. They'll be like, why did you just mess up my fur? And they'll go and clean themselves. So, yeah. Those are my little rat babies. But, um, yeah, so to, I already cleaned out their cage, um, changed their litter, sit up on the bed, and then... Did my exercise. I ate like a 
really big like breakfast lunch because it was really late when I got up because I usually get up around 9 I got up at 11 today but uh yeah that's all I've done today and then I figured I could start blogging so I guess I need to put away some clothes I have a lot of laundry I need to do and then I have to get ready I have a big surprise coming up about I'm gonna say a week yeah that should be fun I'll let you guys know uh the day after it happens, I guess. So, yep, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So yeah, this is what happens when you have stuff you need to do and you don't feel like doing it, and then it's three hours later. Yeah, so I picked up um, a couple days ago Far Cry Primal. This is actually the first uh, Far Cry game I've ever played. But uh, I figured, you know, I got an Xbox One from Jared, my boyfriend, for uh, Christmas. And I figured I should uh, get back into gaming. Considering he got me such a generous gift. Like, I think that's like the best gift. One of the best gifts he's ever given me. Other than having him in my presence. But, <laughs> um... Yeah, so I've been playing that for a couple hours. Um, I'm actually, I want to say like 30% done with the game, and I feel like there's like, I've done so much. Like, I'm right now, basically, I'm going through and I'm like clearing out all the bonfires and all like the bases, I guess you can call them. Uh, so I can go out and do all the other missions without having to, you know, run around for 20 minutes. Because. People who don't use, like, fast travel, no one's got time for that. Like, no, I'm not running around a mountain trying to figure out how to get up it. But I can just fast travel to the nearest, you know, spot that I can, I'm able to go. But, uh, yeah. So, I've been doing that, so I figured I'd update you guys on that. Hi, honey. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Huh? <laughs> what you doing? What? What are you doing? Hey guys, so it's dinner time, so I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, Mr. Ein is with me. Ein the corgi. Yeah. Oh, he owns. Yeah, so we're making dinner. Um, so basically, I'm making chicken tenders, so um, if you're vegetarian, don't watch because I'm about to show raw meat, so just skip through. Um, so I cut up some chicken tenders into like little nugget sized pizzas and then I put half of them in a bowl and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat them with a spoonful of mayonnaise and um, just mix them. You don't want to do too much mayonnaise because it's supposed to be kind of healthy. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then um, um, I took like maybe a cup of half of uh, panko breadcrumbs and maybe like one fourth cup of um, Parmesan cheese and I just put it in like a gallon baggie and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thoroughly coat the um, chicken with the mayonnaise and then um, throw them in the bag and shake it up and then do the other half and then you just uh, put them on a baking sheet on the oven for 350 for 10 minutes and there you go and then I have some leftover baked beans and that angel hair uh, rice which have like similar boxes the pasta roni like butter and garlic but this one's like angel hair and cheese and someone is going crazy he's hungry are you hungry stop barking please oh my gosh Ayn what are you doing it's not even dinner time for you yet. Oh, I guess he'll get fed too. Alright, so I'll, I'll let you know how this turns out. Um, I've done it before, so I'll, let you, I'll show you what it looks like when it turns out. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so I just got done eating dinner. Um, I forgot to vlog, and then I thought it would be really awkward if I vlogged around the family. Well, not my family, but my nanny family. Uh, so, I just took a picture, which I'll insert here. So it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm an idiot and I, f 
I said 10 minutes, but it's more like 30. <laughs> but it's still pretty quick and easy for something that you're just like throwing in the oven and just cooking. Um, basically, I'll try, I'll try to find a recipe for it and post it, you know, somewhere down below in the uh, description box. But, uh, so, um, yeah, basically, if you have a meat with thermometer, I just check it and make sure, you know, it's at the right temperature. And then make sure it's not pink on the inside. So, yeah. Turned out really good. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd uh, end the vlog here. Jared gets off at uh, 9.30 and we're going to Skype around like 10.30 because he has to eat dinner. And um, it's like 8 o'clock now, 9 o'clock, whatever. <laughs> so I still need to take a shower and get ready for bed. So yeah, I thought I'd end my day here. Um, if you guys have any like helpful critiques like that are like totally mean, um, you can leave them down in the comment box below. Um, if you like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and let me know how I'm doing. So this is one of many, so I'll just try it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.